Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about Microsoft Edge favorites. So favorites and bookmarks are kind of the same thing. Uh, it just depends on your web browser. So like Google Chrome uses the word bookmarks and Edge uses favorites. So they're pretty interchangeable. I think Microsoft is the only one that uses the word favorites. So when it comes to Edge favorites, you just, there are just two places you need to worry about. One is the favorites bar, which is up here, which is like a place where you could have your favorite favorites or ones that you uh, use most often, you know, make it easier to get to. And then the other one is your other favorites, which you get to by clicking the three dots here, the ellipsis, going to favorites, and then you have your other favorites here, um, but I don't have anything in there, so if I click on that, nothing's going to happen. So, as you can see, I have some favorites up here already configured, and I have this arrow here, meaning that I ran out of room, for these last two favorites here. So if I keep adding more, it's going to just fill up on the side here and not across the top. So there's a couple ways you could clean that up. So let's say like this Gmail here, the, you know, when I made the favorite, it just automatically named it inbox based on what page I was on. So let's say I go to here and I'm going to add this to my favorites. Click on add this page to favorites and then you decide Here's the name that it gives it based on the web page, and then you want it in the favorites bar or the other favorites. So if I pick favorites bar, done. And like I said, since I ran over out of room, it put it over here and with that weird name. So I could actually drag this over here just to get it where I could see it. And let's say I want to clean this up. I could right click on it, edit, and let's say I just want to call this Etsy instead of whatever that word is here. Click on save. So now it's Etsy and now it's a lot smaller. Same thing for this one. I know this is Gmail, so I could edit that, call it Gmail. And that's one way to shorten it and, you know, get your space back. Another way, which is kind of cool too, is let's say, you know, this is obviously Netflix, this is obviously Gmail, this is obviously Amazon. You could right click on one of your favorites up here and then choose show icon only. And then it'll just put the icon. Let's do this for a couple more here. So now you can see we're freeing up a lot of space and we just have the icon. So as long as you know what the icon means, then it's pretty easy just to go uh, use that. And that way you can have a bunch more across the top here. Okay, so that's the uh, favorites bar. So now let's say we want to go to this uh, auto trader site here. We want to add this to our other favorites. We don't go there a lot, so we want to put it somewhere else besides the favorites bar here. So we go to favorites. Oh, sorry, we go to uh, Add to Favorites. And we want to change this to Other Favorites. Click Done. So now you'll notice, now that we have something in Other Favorites, it puts it in the Favorites bar. So we could either, you know, we could still see it from here, or we could also go to it from here. So once you add a favorite to your Other Favorites and you're using the Favorites bar, it's going to add that to it. So, to get the favorites bar, if you don't have it on here, for example, click on the three dots, the ellipsis here, go back to favorites, and then the three dots here again, and then you could have the show favorites bar either always be on, never on, or only when you open a new tab. And then this here, this will hide the favorites button from the toolbar. I'm not sure why you'd want to do that. Okay, and then also when you're in the other favorites here, you can make new folders. So, let's say we go back to favorites. You can right click on here, add a folder. Let's call this uh, car sites. Now we have that. So we could just drag that into there to kind of keep our stuff organized. So now when we go back here, you'll see our subfolder and then our site within there. And if you have the favorites bar in use, you could actually right click on itself and get to the other options like to show the favorites bar without having to take that extra step, you know, and, you know, cut, copy, and paste, and that kind of thing. And there's another page here called Manage Favorites. You could get to it from here, or if you don't have the Favorites bar showing, you could go to Favorites, then here, and then Open Favorites page. It's the same thing. They just call it two different things for some reason. So if we go there, it'll take us to a website or a web page with our favorites, and we could do things like delete them, or we could rearrange them like that. We could also do that up here, too, if you want to move things around, that kind of thing. But you could do that here, or you could kind of highlight them all, do a bulk delete, that kind of thing. You could manage your folders over here. You could right-click, delete, rename, that kind of thing. 
right click, add a favorite, add a folder within here. So if we want to go here, right click, add a folder, let's say boat sites. So now we have that. And so if we go back here, you'll see we have them both. So there's multiple ways to kind of manage your favorites. But the uh, whole point of this video is just to kind of show you that you just have to worry about your favorites bar and your other favorites and how to turn that on. So once again, if you don't have the favorites bar, go to the three dots here, favorites, go to the three dots again, show favorites bar and decide what you want to do. And then like once I said, once you add stuff to other favorites, it's going to put your other favorites in the address bar here as well. So if I, so if I were to remove this and remove this, you'll see the other favorites disappears from the favorites bar because there's nothing in there to show. So it figures you don't want to use it. Oh, one more thing I want to mention is you could actually pin your favorites too for your other favorites. So if you go to favorites, open it up to see this little thumbtack here, you could pin that. So then you'll have it on the side here, but you'll notice it takes a part of your screen real estate there. So you'll have less space over here. So it's up to you if you want to see that or not. And then you could also unpin it and then you'll have to get to it the regular way. And then one more thing too. So when you add this to favorites, you don't have to keep the default name. That's why it's highlighted. So you could change this, you know, right to, uh, right there. And now it has an auto trader instead of using the name that it decided it wanted to give you. So that's one way to kind of keep things clean right from the start. Okay, so pretty simple, you know, like I said, you can manage these by right clicking and show icon or right click edit and rename it or drag it where you want to be and give yourself some more room and that kind of thing and then decide if you want to keep everything in the favorites bar or if you want to split it up into your other favorites and so on. So once you start playing with it, it's pretty simple you know, to see how it works. It's just kind of confusing if you have never really played with it before. All right, give it a shot and see if you can keep things uh, looking clean for your favorites. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. Thank mm -hmm. you.